Hello class, open your books at page 105 today. We have the review of unit two. We have finished unit two. So today we have to do the review. Remember that the answers of this review, you will have to send it to Google Classroom next week on the 12th of June. So let's start by Exercise one, here you have exercises about vocabulary, exercises one, two, three, and four. And exercises five, six, seven, and eight are about grammar, the grammar that we learned in this unit. In the first exercise, you have to give advice to these people using the words below. Remember that to give advice, you need the modal should, okay? So using should and these words, you are going to give advice to these people. So you have Julia is feeling under pressure with her exam revision and is getting stressed in the first one. So write an advice, give advice to Julia. So she should what? Do a course, go to the gym, join a club, or take up yoga, for example. In exercise two, you have to write the verbs for each noun, then complete the sentences with the nouns. Remember that from these nouns, these nouns are made up from verbs. So which is the verb, for example, for the word, for the noun admission? Remember that by adding un, for example, from a verb admit, from the verb admit, by adding un, admission, you form the noun. Remember that we learned that in this unit, how to make nouns from verbs at page 23. Well, so you write the verse for each of these nouns, and then you have to complete these sentences with these nouns that you have here, okay? In exercise three, you have to make nouns from the adjectives below and complete the sentences. Remember that you could make up adjectives, sorry, you could make up nouns from adjectives. That is also at page 23. By adding ness, you can add the ending ness to make adjectives from these nouns. So for example, from the noun happy, sorry, from the adjective happy, you can make the noun happiness by adding ness, okay? So when you have, or well, remember that there are some uh, little changes, a few changes that you have to do because for example, happy, happiness, remember that you have to change the Y, the final Y by I to write the noun happiness, okay? So when you have the nouns, you will complete this sentences. So first make the nouns from these adjectives, adding ness, and then complete the sentences with the correct nouns. Then at exercise four, you had to complete with the multiple verbs, and you had the multiple verbs also at page 23, exercise 10. There you had the multiple verbs. If you don't remember, go to that page and have a look at them. And the, in all of them, only the preposition is missing. So go to that page and see which is the correct preposition for each one of these verbs to make multi-part verbs. Then for the grammar part, you have to go to exercise five. In exercise five, you have to choose the correct option. Remember that when we started unit two at page 20, we had a future review about uh, 
the different tenses that you can use to talk about the future. So for example, you can use present continuous, you can use present simple, you can use going to, you can use will to talk about the future. But remember that each of them had a special use. So when can you use present continuous to talk about the future, for example? Mm -hmm. For example, you use present continuous when you have arrangements, future arrangements. Well, and then think about present simple, when do we use it for the future, when you use will, going to, because they all have a special use for the future. Then in exercise six, you have to read this flyer and write sentences using future continuous. Remember that that was the new tense that we learned in this unit, future continuous. And future continuous is very, very easy because you only have to add will be and the verb, this verb, with ing. So in all of these sentences, you just have to write will be and the verb with ing. Will be buying, will be learning, will be studying, will be going. That was future continuous, remember? If you don't remember future continuous, you can go back to page 20 and have a look at the chart there, or you can go to the grammar reference at page 114, and there you can see, have a look at, have a look at the structure again of future continuous. Then in exercise seven, you have to complete the sentences with, unless, until or as soon as. Unless, remember, a menos que. Remember that we could use these to make the first conditional, which was the last topic we have learned last class. And uh, you can use them to, instead of if, Mm -hmm. For the first condition, we always use if, but also you can replace if by unless, until, or as soon as. Recuerden bien los significados para saber y que tenga sentido en cada una de las oraciones que los usen. Unless era a menos que, until, hasta, as soon as, tan pronto como. ¿Ok? Then in exercise A, you have to complete the sentences with your own ideas and may, might, might not, or could. Remember that we could form, instead of will, we could use these modal verbs, may, might, or could. So complete them with your own ideas. And remember the meaning. May or might, acuérdense que sería como quizás, might not, quizás no. And could sería como podría, podría. No varían mucho en el sentido entre usar may or might es lo mismo y entre usar may, might or could. Pero sí para el negativo utilizar might not. Now we are going to listen and you're going to write in the last exercise exercise nine for the dictation part so be ready with your pens and let's write this dictation listen 105 exercise nine <laughs> Special summer plans? I'm looking forward to next July. When I'll be taking part in an outdoors adventure summer camp in America. I'll be kayaking, swimming, and camping under the stars. A 
as soon as my exams are over. I'll be flying out there. I can't wait. It's going to be great. Okay, that was all you had to do in the review of Unit 2. And this time, I will ask you to prepare a Google document or a file on Word and to send me that way to Google Classroom and not pictures of your notebooks, okay? So start preparing your files on Word or the Google Forms, the Google document, sorry, and that you will send me so I can check them online. Well, that was today's class. Hope to see you in our next video conference. Bye-bye.